What's up guys, my name is Thomas and welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about the entire history of Rivian Automotive. Just before I get into all the information, feel free to hit the subscribe button and that notification bell if you wanna keep up to date with all the latest videos on this channel. It helps me out a ton and supports this channel so I can keep making videos just like this one. Let's get into all the information. Now, some of you might have just clicked on this video because you saw a cool truck in the thumbnail, so let me briefly explain what Rivian is. Rivian is an American automotive company that is leading the charge against creating the first SUV slash truck that is fully electric for the market. They are doing something amazing and really revolutionizing the industry. Now that you know who they are, we can get into the history of Rivian. So to start off, this company was founded in 2009 by a guy called Robert J. Scaringe. But we're just gonna refer to him as RJ because I feel like I'm saying his last name wrong. He's also known as the Elon Musk of Illinois simply because of what he's doing out there. RJ grew up restoring classic cars and got his PhD in automotive mechanical engineering from Massachusetts Institute of Technology and was a member of the Sloan's Automotive Laboratory. Now I've said Rivian enough times in this video that it means something to you by now and you'd be able to pick it out of a crowd, but little do you know Rivian wasn't always called Rivian. It was first called Mainstream Motors when it was founded in 2009, and then it was called Avera Automotive, and finally the name you know today, Rivian Automotive, and that was changed in 2011. This company has stayed very under the radar when I was trying to do research for this video there's not a lot out there on this company especially from 2009 to 2017 because they didn't want anything to go to the public they didn't want to be a big deal yet because they wanted to come to the market and go to the public with an actual working prototype which as you know they did in late 2018 Surprisingly enough, Rivian wasn't always supposed to just make an electric vehicle. They actually started off making a car, or at least releasing to the public that they were trying to make a car that was supposed to get around 60 miles per gallon, so be very, very, very good on gas, and cost around the mid $20,000 range US. And that was supposed to be released in 2013, 2014, but they obviously didn't go through with that and started working on fully electric and autonomous vehicles. Around the same time, they moved their headquarters from Florida to Livonia, Michigan. And the reason for that was because they wanted to be closer to their suppliers. In 2015, Rivian received a massive investment and opened up a few research areas in the Bay Area as well as Michigan. In 2016, Rivian started negotiating to get their main manufacturing plant, which in January of 2017 they did obtain, and it just happened to be the old Mitsubishi Motors plant in Normal, Illinois. They left all the old equipment there and started getting to work. Rivian also has facilities in Plymouth, Michigan, San Jose, California, Irvine, California, as well as the United Kingdom. That same year, they received $50.5 million US from the government in grants and credits as long as they promised to meet certain investment and employment goals by 2024. And obviously, what would you do if you were just offered $50.5 million if you just had to invest and hire a few more people? So that's exactly what RJ did. In January of 2017, they had hired 100 people, and by August, they already had 160. And then in December of 2017, they started their strategic investment plan, as well as released that they were doing the final testing on their alpha prototypes. As well as that, they released their first two products that they named the A1T and the A1C. And finally, the month that everybody had been waiting for, it was November 2018. It was the LA Auto Show, and Rivian was there to release both their truck and the SUV. Now, they had changed the names from A1T and A1C to R1S and R1T. R1T standing for Rivian's first truck, and R1S standing for Rivian's first SUV. Also in 2018, Rivian received $200 million in funding, bringing the grand total to just over $450 million US. They also started off the year with 250 employees and ended off the year with 700 employees. And that brings me to 2019. It is currently February 15th at the recording of this video, and I'm sure that there's gonna be much more information coming out about this truck. This SUV as well as Rivian as a whole. So if there's anything that I missed or anything comes out after I release this video, then feel free to leave it down in the comments below and I will pin it to the top of the comments so other people can see it. Believe it or not, I do read the comments and I love hearing what you guys have to say about these videos. If there's anything I can do better, what you like, what you don't like, leave it down below and I'll try to improve the channel a little bit. My name is Thomas. Thank you so much for watching. I love doing these things. So subscribe for more so I can keep doing these videos as well as ring the notification bell to keep up with all the latest ones and drop a like if you found this video helpful. 
If you do want to know the specs on this truck, I made a video where I compared the mystery Tesla truck to Rivian, so check that out for more information about the R1T. There's also about a million and one other fantastic videos out on the internet about it as well. And that is it for me. Thanks so much. Peace.